Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the absolute configuration, Fisher projection and RS nomenclature of the molecules. But before discuss about all these terms, let us have a recap of our previous video. In the previous video, we have discussed about the optical isomerism and the optical isomerism is shown by the chiral molecules. Either the molecule is chiral or it is having a chiral center. So the chiral center is the presence of a chiral carbon. What is called chiral carbon? The carbon which is sp3 hybridized and is attached with the four different atoms or groups is called chiral carbon. These molecules are having these atoms or groups differently in the three-dimensional space. Their special configuration is defined by the absolute configuration. And to define this absolute configuration, stereo descriptors like RS nomenclature, DL nomenclatures are required. And this 3D structure of a molecule can be represented in the 2D plane which is represented by the Fisher projection as shown over here. So this is the Fisher projection and th this is the two dimensional representation of a three dimensional molecule. So let's start with the absolute configuration. So here is the absolute configuration. The absolute configuration is the actual special arrangement means three dimensional arrangement of the atoms or groups at a stereogenic unit of a chiral compound or substructure and is unambiguously described by means of appropriate de stereo descriptors. So the stereo descriptors are DL which is used for the representation of amino acid and carbohydrates whereas RS stereo descriptors are, the, are used for the organic molecules and EZ for the cis trans type of molecules, endo, exo, Reface, Siphase, etc. There are several other stereo descriptors. In this video, we are going to discuss about the RS nomenclatures or RS stereo descriptors. To define this RS stereo descriptors, let us represent the three dimensional molecule in the two dimension and which can be done by the Fisher projection. Here is the Fisher projection. So, there are several rules which are used to draw this Fisher projection of a three-dimensional molecule in the two dimension. So, here in this Fisher projection, there are two different lines. This is vertical line and horizontal line. And at the cross of these two lines, this is represented the presence of a carbon atom. If four different type of groups or atoms are attached with this carbon, then this carbon is known as chiral carbon. On this vertical line, the longest chain which is present in the molecular formula will be placed at the vertical line and the most oxidized end or group of the chain is placed at the top of this vertical line. So, this is the most oxidized group present in the molecule will be placed at the top of this vertical line. Next, the substituents that are shown horizontally on this horizontal line are projected towards the viewer side. Whereas the vertical carbon-carbon bonds pointed away from the viewer at all carbon atoms. Here are only one carbon. So this and this are away from my side. But if I have more than one carbon chiral centers or other carbon centers, then all these carbon centers which are present on this vertical line, they are away from my side. The other thing which needs to be remembered that the Fisher projection formula represents a completely eclipsed conformation of the vertical chain. So, if we draw the Newman projection of a Fisher projection, then the Newman projection which we get from out of this Fisher projection is a eclipsed confirmation rather than having the staggered or any other confirmation we will have a eclipse confirmation so representing the rs nomenclature so this is my flying wedge structure of a molecule with this chiral center and this is a three-dimensional representation of the molecule whereas this three-dimensional represent can representation can be drawn by this 
फिशर प्रोजेक्शन ऑन द टू डायमेंशनल प्लेन ऑफ दिस थ्री डायमेंशनल मॉलिक्यूल सो टू असाइन द स्पेशल अरेन्जमेंट बाई यूजिंग दिस आर एंड एस नॉमन क्लेचर सो फर्स्ट वी मस्ट नो वॉट इज आर एंड एस मीन्स where r is derived from the latin word rectus and it means right whereas s is derived from the latin word sinister and it means left by using this can in gold prolog sequence or sip sequence so according to this this we have already discussed in our video uh, of geometrical isomerism so we are not going to discuss it in detail but we will use this sip sequence let us determine the rs nomenclature for this molecule so what we have to do first we have to decide the priority order of the groups or atoms which are present on this molecule so how we are going to decide the priority so how we are going to decide the priority so to decide the priority first one has to consider the atomic number of the first atom attached to the chiral center so here like this so which here bromine is having the highest atomic number then the carbon and then this hydrogen so in these two carbon the first atom is having same atomic number so we will go to the second atom so here this carbon is attached with three different h whereas in this case this carbon is attached with c double bond o o and h right so this carbon is attached with o again o and this single bond h we are not going to discuss about this double bond o so this we will discuss in the next slide here this carbon is attached with the oxygen here and again here but here this carbon is attached with hydrogen and hydrogen so this oxygen will get more priority so this group will get more priority as compared to this ch3 so this is my first priority group as bromine will get the first priority coh will get the second priority this h is my fourth and this ch3 is the th after deciding the priority how we are going to decide the rs nomenclature so here is a super trick we are going to discuss first this thing you need to remember this is the cross which represents the chiral center now decide the priority now start moving from the first priority group to second and then third in this order you just leave the fourth priority group so 1 2 and 3 while i am moving with this priority groups this is clockwise in the clockwise direction so if we are having a situation like this when our fourth priority group fourth priority group is on vertical line and 1 2 3 priority groups are moving towards the clockwise direction then that has a configuration r so here you can like if this is my vertical line this is having four and i am moving in the clockwise direction in this way i will get r so this only thing you need to remember reverse of this is if we are if my fourth priority group is on the vertical line and my first second and third priority group are anti clockwise moving then i will have opposite to this opposite to this is my s so here this is anti clockwise direction how i draw the s this is in the anti clockwise direction and my fourth is on vertical line so either you can remember both or otherwise it, this is the only thing which you need to remember and opposite to this anti clockwise you will get the s but the second case comes this is not always the case that my fourth priority or the least priority group is on the vertical line so if my fourth priority group is on not on the vertical line then in that case what we are going to do so suppose my fourth priority group is not on this vertical line it is on the horizontal line right so if it is in the horizontal line then this clockwise direction will be my s because we have one interchange my, if my fourth priority group is at this position so i have to make one interchange so this r can be changed to s so it is shown over here if my fourth priority group is in on the either side of this horizontal line 
then my clockwise direction rotation of first second and third priority group will be this if this is my first this is my second and this is my third priority group so while you are moving this uh, clockwise or anti clockwise you just leave the four only consider one two and three so this is my one two and three so here i have make one interchange so this is my fourth which is on horizontal line here so this is what will be that that, that will be my s so only thing you need to remember if my four is on vertical line and i am having a clockwise rotation then that is r if my four is on vertical line anti clockwise rotation of my priority groups then i am having s configuration but if my four is not on the vertical line it is on the horizontal line then clockwise rotation will gives me s if my fourth priority group is on horizontal line and my anti clockwise rotation will gives me r we are now going to assign the rs nomenclature for the following examples so this is my first example okay so first we have to decide the priority of the atoms or groups which are attached to this chiral center so here this is my first priority group so how to decide the first priority group this is decided according to the can in gold prelog sequence that is sip sequence and according to that first you have to decide the atomic number which is having more atomic number that will get the first priority if there is a tie between first atom which is attached to this chiral center then you move to the second atom so in this way go next 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 just to decide the priority so first we will discuss with this example and then we move further so here this is nitrogen this is carbon carbon and hydrogen so this nitrogen is having the first priority second carbon carbon is having same atomic number so we move to the second atom so here this carbon is attached with three hydrogen but here in this case this carbon is attached with the two oxygen atoms one is double bonded to this and one is single bonded to this like c double bond o and oh so here this is CH3, but here COOH, right? So this will get the second priority because the second atom attached to it is having more atomic number. Now this is get third and this is my least priority group or the fourth group. So while rotating, we just omit this four. So this is my first, go to second and leave this four. You just come directly come to this three. So in this way, what we are having my fourth priority group is not on my vertical line but i am having a clockwise rotation so in this way i have to make one interchange so this r will be changed to s so s will be the configuration for this molecule second example here in this case first we have to decide the priority for the ship rule we have to decide the priority of the groups or atoms based on their atomic number but here in this case if the atoms or groups are having the same atomic number then what we have to do so in this case atomic mass will be considered so first priority group will be given to this second this carbon because oxygen is having more atomic number eight carbon is six this, these two have one and one deuterium and hydrogen but atomic mass for this deuterium is more than this hydrogen so it will get third priority and this will get the least priority now check the clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation so this is my clockwise rotation my four is on vertical line and i am having the clockwise rotation so this is my r no interchange has to be done the next example i am having is this so here in this case first i have to decide the first atom okay atomic number so this will get first priority here second priority will be given to any of these so how we are going to decide because this is at this carbon is attached with h and double bond o here it is h2 and oh so i am just writing over here c double bond o and this is my h right and this ch2oh will be written like this CH2OH 
okay so this is attached from this side this is attached from this side so how we are going to decide because this double bond is considered like this according to the sip rule so this double bond is considered as this carbon is attached with one oxygen and another oxygen again okay so this carbon is attached with two oxygens and the third oxygen third one is my h so but here in this case this is attached with two hydrogen and one oxygen so this will get the priority so this will get the second priority here this will get the third priority and now this is my fourth one so here in this case as i told you earlier while you are moving according to your priority groups you just omit this four so one Two and three. So this is my anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise rotation. Here is my anti-clockwise rotation. So this will give me S. But my four is not on the vertical line at the bottom, right? So I have to make one interchange. So this will give me R. So the the right configuration for this molecule will be R. The next type of examples we will have here. so here in this case if we are having one lone pair of electron then this lone pair of electron according to the sip rule will have the fourth priority now decide for other groups so this is my phenyl this is my methyl this is my ch2 ch3 ethyl group so phenyl group since it is having c double bond c so it is c double bond c this will be like this carbon is attached with two carbon okay so here this will get the this is attached with two carbons but here it is attached with one carbon so in all three groups we have to decide the priority so this will get my first priority this will get my second priority because this carbon is attached one carbon all again but here this carbon is attached three hydrogen so this will get third priority now this is anti clockwise so anti clockwise and four is on my bottom part so this is my s configuration similarly for this molecule this is my lone pair and this is the fourth priority group now i have to decide the priority of other of the groups this will get my first priority second priority and this is third priority okay so one two as i told you earlier you omit this four this is my anti clockwise rotation okay so anti clockwise rotation and my four is on the bottom anti clockwise so i am having this s here you can check the priority order so one more thing this s this sometimes written as double bond s so in that case also for s we consider the rs nomenclature for this double bonded sulfur the next is if we are having more than one chiral center then how we are going to decide the priority so here in this case first this is my second carbon this is my third carbon as both the ends are of same type so we can start the long for longest chain so 1 2 3 4 or from this side also 1 2 3 4 so in either side you can mark this 2 and 3 now for this two carbon second carbon we will decide the priority so this will have first priority this again we have to check whether this will this group will have the priority or this this bulky group which is act as a group for this carbon okay so this group will have the priority so here in this case we are having c double bond o oh right so here this can be written as c double bond o can be written like this o and o again this will have c and c right so this carbon is attached with oxygen oxygen and the third oxygen again so this will have the second priority okay so this will have the second priority and this group will have the third priority this group will have the third priority and this is my fourth group so now decide the orientation so this is my 1 2 and 3 configuration so s anti clockwise but my 4 is not at the bottom so one interchange i have to make so i will get the r configuration in this case again we are doing the same exercise so this will get the first priority i'll check change the colors this will be my first priority group this will be my second priority group and this whole group will get the third priority and this is my fourth priority group so if we are moving we just omit this four so we will have this 
again this is my anti clockwise again okay so anti clockwise so anti clockwise four is not on the again vertical line so i have to make one interchange so this is my r configuration again so in this way one can decide if we interchange these positions of oh or here we can decide for another molecule decide the first second and third priority group so here is my first priority group this is my second priority group this will be my second priority group this is my third priority group and fourth priority group so if we are moving like this so this is my again anti clockwise but fourth is on vertical plane so anti clockwise with four at vertical line okay it can be of either side like in the bottom or in the top so this will be my s but here in this case i have to again decide the priorities o atom so this is my second priority group this one second priority group and this is my third priority group this is my fourth priority group so 1 2 and 3 so anti clockwise but 4 is on anti clockwise but 4 is on the bottom part or vertical line so this is again my s so 2s and 3s are the rs nomenclatures for this given compound so in this way one can decide these rs nomenclature for the given compounds with considering this can in gold prelog sequence in the next video we are going to discuss rs nomenclature for such type of three dimensional structure or flying wedge structures without forming the fisher projection which is sometimes not given in the question paper i hope you understand the concept of as rs nomenclature which has been discussed in this video if you like this concept then please subscribe my channel thank you all